Household ammonia is reported to be great for controlling slugs. Some people spray the plants, others the soil, and some even spray the slugs directly. In this video, I'll run some tests to see which of these methods work best. Household ammonia is a term that refers to any number of cleaning products that contain ammonia. It used to be easy to get in grocery stores, but all I could find now was scented ammonia. I used this product, which contains some coloring to make it yellow, and some lemon scent to try and hide the ammonia smell. Here's how I set up my experiments. I collected some slugs from the garden and kept them in the dark until it was time for a test. The reason for doing this is that they are more active at night and they sleep during the day. I took some soil and formed it into a donut shape. I then placed the slugs in the center of the circle and recorded their movement. This first test is a control and I use clean garden soil. As expected, they had no problem crossing it. Since slugs are slow, I have increased the speed of each of these videos. One common way to prevent slugs from getting at your plants is to spray the soil around them with dilute ammonia. Some even say it kills the slugs. Let's test this theory. I place a circular piece of paper in the center of the soil to protect the bottom from the ammonia. I then sprayed the soil with one part household ammonia and nine parts water, a common recipe found on the internet. I let everything dry for 15 minutes, removed the paper, and then introduced the slugs. As you can see, the ammonia sprayed soil did not stop the slugs. They had no problem crossing it. The idea that ammonia sprayed on soil will stop slugs is busted. It does not work. Next I want to test another common suggestion. What happens if ammonia is sprayed directly on plant leaves? I took a large hosta leaf and cut out the center, sprayed it with the same ammonia solution and let it dry for 15 minutes. The slugs were then added to the center. If this works, slugs should not cross the leaf. The sneaky slugs kept trying to crawl under the leaf, so I put down some knives to hold it flat and forced them to crawl over the leaf. You can see that the slugs had no problem crossing the leaf. Spraying leaves with ammonia does not stop slugs from getting to your plants. The next task was a bit more direct. I took one slug and sprayed the ammonia solution right on it. Almost immediately, the slug started to dissolve and ooze red stuff. Direct spraying does work. With the exception of this last slug, were any of the other slugs harmed by these treatments? I kept the slugs for another day to see how they were doing. Here they are the next day. They're all happy and crawling around. Or maybe they're looking for their one buddy that is now missing. Braying soil or leaves does not harm slugs. I had one final test to do. I made up a new solution of half household ammonia and half water. I poured this on some butterfly bush seedlings that were growing in the cracks of my patio. This picture shows them a few minutes after spraying. They were clearly harmed and by the next day they were all black. High levels of ammonia will harm plants. If you decide to spray slugs directly, be very careful that you don't use too much ammonia. There are hundreds of slug and snail species and I only tested two of them. It is possible that other species behave differently, but it is unlikely because of some very basic chemistry. The ammonia in household ammonia is a gas, and it vaporizes very quickly. That is one reason why it smells so strong. A few minutes after spraying it, it has all vaporized into the air. That is why these tests failed. By the time the slugs crawled over the material, the ammonia was all gone. 
So what does work for getting rid of slugs? I have looked at many home remedies on my Garden Myths blog and I have discussed several in my book, Garden Myths Book 1. In short, most home remedies either don't work at all or don't work very well. Commercial slug bait does work. If you enjoyed this video, you will also like my book called Garden Myths. In it I look at common gardening advice and determine if it is really true. I cover such topics as, does beer really kill slugs? Can you use vinegar to get rid of weeds? And will citronella plants keep mosquitoes away? If you are interested in this book, the best place to get it is Amazon.